Maltese dog owners, you would always want them to stay happy. Therefore, there are pretty high chances that you have thought about how can you make your Maltese pup happy always. That's why today's episode, we will share 12 things that makes your Maltese happy. Number 1. Reward grooming sessions make Maltese happy. Grooming sessions including goodies make Maltese very happy, so owners may utilize grooming time to strengthen their bonds with their dogs. Short-haired Maltese, like other long-haired dog breeds, require frequent grooming to stay happy. For Maltese with long hair, a long, tangled, and filthy coat may irritate your Maltese. To avoid illness and irritation, keep your Maltese's ears and paws clean. Clip their nails and any hair growing between them to keep their paw pads healthy and neat. Number 2. Make time for daily cuddles. If you have had a Maltese for any length of time, you know how much they love to cuddle. Chances are, you spend some time cuddling with your dog most days, but if you don't, this is an easy way to make them happy. Have them sit next to you or on your lap while you watch TV. It's no extra work for you, and it makes them very happy. Not to mention, studies have shown that petting a dog lowers your blood pressure, so it is truly a win-win situation. If you're already a daily cuddler, add in an extra session. Surprise your pup by picking them up at random times and spend a couple of minutes telling them how wonderful they are. Number 3. Find a new walking route. Walks are a great way to spend a half an hour or so. Maltese don't need long walks as their legs are too short to go too far, but a walk is still a good idea. Even so, if you go on the same route every day, it can get a little boring for you and your dog. Consider mixing it up a bit and find a new route. Your Maltese will enjoy the new sights, sounds, and smells. Number 4. Make sure training never stops. While it makes sense to start training your Maltese as a puppy, don't stop there. Yes, they need to learn the basics, but after that, continued training is a great way to provide mental stimulation for your dog. Not to mention, they will love the attention from you. It will help rid your dog of boredom as well, which is always a good thing. A bored dog can be prone to destructive behavior. Number 5. Call them by their names. Maltese love it when you call them by their names. It makes them feel recognized and at the same time makes them feel special. So after getting back home from work, call them by their names and see them coming to you wiggling tails with happiness in their eyes. Number 6. Brush their teeth and body hair. You need to take care of your Maltese dog's teeth, so brush them every day and brush their silky coat too. When they feel they are taken care of, they are the happiest furballs. Number 7. Hide some treats around the house. Everyone enjoys a treasure hunt, and that includes your Maltese. One easy way to give them something to do and to make their day is to hide some treats around the house for them to find. Do this when they aren't looking and then tell them to go find the treats. Over time, and it won't really take all that long, they will learn what find the treats means, and they will be off and running. Number 8. Throw a new toy into the mix. Speaking of toys, I don't think Truman gets any more excited than when he has a new toy. It has that new toy smell that he just can resist. The nice thing about dog toys for small dogs is that they don't have to be expensive. Number 9. Introduce your Maltese to another dog. If your dog likes other dogs, then think about having a play date with a friend's dog. This won't work for every Maltese. I know that my Truman isn't really all that fond of other dogs. I think it is because he doesn't think he is one, so he doesn't understand why he should be playing with others. But if you just have one dog and they like other dogs, play dates can be nice treats once in a while. Number 10. Check out the dog park. Speaking of other dogs, a dog park can be a wonderful place to take your Maltese to play. They get to hang out with other dogs and people. Of course, not all Maltese are up for it. I took my Truman to a dog park once and he hated it. He hid behind me and started shaking and drooling. It was terrible. On the other hand, my other Maltese, Sammy, loved it. Number 11. Take your Maltese to dinner. One nice thing in this crazy world is that more places are open to dogs. You can take your Maltese to several large box stores such as PetSmart, but you can also take them to restaurants with outside seating. 
Consider bringing your pup along on a nice day when you plan to dine al fresco. Number 11. Remove their collar when inside. Actually, it is a good idea to remove your dog's collar whenever you're not outside. Their colors can get caught up in things, and they could be strangled. I only have their collars on when I take them outside, but if this is an issue for you, at least consider taking them off at night when you go to bed. This will make them more comfortable when they are sleeping overnight. Number 12. Giving them attention make Maltese happy. Giving your Maltese plenty of attention on a daily basis is one of the finest things you can do for them. Maltese dogs like playing with their owners and are at their happiest when they are in their company. Remember that this is a companion breed, so be prepared for them to cling to you. Spending quality time with your Maltese may be as simple as playing with him or simply holding him on your lap. Maltese dogs love and adore their owners with all their heart because they are very close to their owners, cherish their company, and clingy to them. Their sweet, affectionate activities express how much they love their owners, and they are very protective towards them too. Their curiosity, licking, smuggling, protectiveness shows they love their owner. 